Hello, I am Yet4455, and welcome back to Zoo t- 2. Alright, uh, so welcome to episode 3. So we're going to keep going with the campaign game. Uh, we're going to finish off today the zookeeper in training. So this one we're actually going to go to, it's going to be a normal difficulty. We still start lo- off with a boatload of money. So uh, let's see, we need to grow, expand the base, do the same, assume fame, and guess traffic. So basically we, this is where we kind of have a little bit more freedom in what we get to build. Trying to get this, uh, this zoo in North America to be one of the better ones in the country. Right, so uh, let's just go ahead and hit play. Um, so yeah, so right now we're just doing the campaign, but I think I am going to start and do my own zoo. Uh, you know, just kind of like a little free-for-all, do-whatever-I-want zoo. Thank you for that. Alright, so, following the basic needs of attaining new animals, meeting their basic needs, providing better amenities, blah, 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 blah. Alright, what do I gotta do? Alright, I need to attain $5,000 in guest donations. So the easiest way to do that, more animals. So right now... Pause it really quick. I have nothing in the zoo. Absolutely nothing. All right, so this is going to be tough. So the first thing we got to do, we got we need uh, some type of animal to start with. So American peafowl. All these are pretty cheap. I could go gazelle, bison. Bongos. Low risk, low risk. You are vulnerable. So I could always do caribou. We will not be doing any extinct stuff. Alright. Uh, Alright, I think the first thing we're going to do is we could build a little exhibit right here of the common pea file. So as soon as they come into the zoo, they have something to see. And the best thing is I could build a low fence, which I will build. Right, so we're going to, again, use the back wall of the zoo to kind of help us keep them enclosed. Like that. Perfect. All right. Biome. Temperate forest. Use the brush size a bit. I do not think any of these are in temperate forest. No, they're grassland. So we got to get rid of those trees because they will not help. In this scenario, you are grassland as well. All right. Can't, are there anything I can put in there? I can put this tree in there. So we'll have a couple trees. I do need to put a fence. A gate in there, sorry. Alright. Need food. Alright. Grass dish. Water dish. Right, okay. Now we can put the animals. So I'm going to put a male and a female. They're different, but whatever. Alright, I don't really have much in the way of that. Alright, so. First exhibit is built. Um, I will throw a kazoo keeper in. Care for the animals. So, temperate forest is up. Is the zoo open? It is. Alright, then I'm going to need... Donation box for here. So I guess can donate to the zoo. Now I need another animal. So the peafowl, let's see what else I can get. Um, I could probably go with this caribou. Like I said, they are vulnerable. So it also helps us if we do take things that are on the endangered vulnerable list and release them to the wild. People tend to like that. However, they are tundra. So for 
tundra. I think I'm going to build my tundra zone over here. So they require... Uh, I'll build the wooden werewolf fence. Kind of keep it themed a little bit. Right. Right. And then we'll just go straight back with this. To that retaining wall. Do that. And that. Alright. Tundra. There we go. Get rid of all these rocks because they're grassland stuff. I wish when I would paint all these it would fix that, but I guess not. Alright, food. That and that. Enrichment. I will get the scratching post. And that's not very tundra e, but it will work. Alright, one male. And again, one female. I think I'm fine with space for now. And then finally, a donation box. To go here. Right. Alright, two donation boxes. Now I do have to start worrying about the guest stuff. So I do need to figure out where I'm going to put that. I think this area right here I think is going to be the best for that. And then I'll put a scratch, the scratching post in here to keep them happier. Alright. So for the guest do that we'll just make this one kind of big concession area filled with picnic tables and all that fun stuff and I forgot a path bam all right this tree I'll actually move just move back move back this grass I'll sell get some more money would have thought you could sell grass but apparently you can all right food places so we got a hot dog stand which I will put here then a drink stall gonna have a couple picnic a lot of picnic tables because this will be picnicy area right just like that all right we are going to need a lot of trash bins For that area. And then we'll put. Ah, uh, see, I did mess up a little bit with the theming. But we'll put some picnic benches or regular benches around there and around here. So people can sit. We will need a bathroom. For bathroom stuff, which will go right here. Alright. So I don't need the P file. Ooh, a camel. I can go camels. Camel. We're going to get rid of Raptor. That gives me Carabao. Okay. Uh, these are not endangered. They're low risk and they are desert uh, Desert I'm actually gonna build right over here. Perfect uh, We'll go with the chain link fencing 
going to cheat and use some of the wall. There. Okay. So I got to get rid of that tree. So I already know that tree was not part of the desert. There. Got to put a fence in. And then some, we'll throw some, uh, hay, water. Scratching posts they can scratch. This for shade. And we'll camel it up. Alright, they do need more space. Okay. That I will fix. Sell it. Sell. 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 Sell that. Alright, desert this up some more. Alright, now comes the task. Chopping down the fence. Bam. Uh oh. They're not. Okay. I did accidentally. There. Alright. Do you have space? Yes. Space is now good. Any trees? I can put a desert tree over here. And some grass. Rocks. There we go. Okay, how many donations am I running? 500 there. Alright, animals. Do have gazelles. So, with that, with any savannah, I think I'm going to build one giant savannah enclosure. And then I'll just have them ro roam freely. I can do African buffalo. Bluebacks are actually extinct. Um, I already have caribou. Stingrays. That, that might work. Definitely have some stingrays in there. Yeah, we already took care of that. Thank you. So you could probably go in. Ooh, I do need a donation box over here, however. Donations. There. Hold off on benches for now. And this is where I feel that these are lacking because now I got to sit here and wait instead of speeding up time so while this is going we'll try to figure out animals um, there is a way all right so as you can see as animal happiness increases number of species number of animals the exhibits entertaining animals and releases while all these increase the zoo fame so right now I'm at a half star as I start doing more getting more animals starting to release them into the wild happier they become now I would like to build stingrays but I uh, their take is going to be kind of pricey and I only have 10 grand so if anything I'm going to try to make the savannah enclosure Because with Thompson Gazelles, the best thing about Thompson Gazelles is they breed like rabbits. And it does, and the zoo fame doesn't care 
animal type as long as they are released. So that is going to be All right, I think that is going to be the starting savanna enclosure. All right. All these trees got to go. Bam. Okay. So now, uh, that's why I wasn't getting anything. Okay. So now all of this I will transform into savanna. I do like the tree placement, but I'm actually going to move that one back here. Because right there, I'm going to put an actual lake. Uh, but I don't want the trees to go. There. Okay, so we'll put a fence here and a fence to get those. Perfect. And I'm still got plenty of that. Alright. So I got that. I do not have to worry in wa with water because I do have this lake in there. So they will actually drink from the lake. Um, I will build that enclosure back there. Alright, I'm going to have two males and the one female, Thompson Gazelle, and then I'm going to get another female here as it comes up, so I could have two of each, increase my number of animals quite a bit. So they are now up to four animals. I will have another food thing. All right. I have a lot of Thompson gazelles now. And they will be good to do their thing and eventually get me some release to the wild credits. All right, camels are sitting there doing good. They're getting me donations a little bit. That one has $43 in it. This one, about a thousand, which is good. So remember, the goal is to just get to 5,000, which I'm already at a thousand. Right, I could do something with that water in a bit. All right, I do not need any more Thompson Gazelles. Um, don't need their raptor. Uh, see, this is, this is the only problem. All right, I should also consider at least putting another bathroom here. It's only a hundred bucks. I could swing that. Throw another bathroom in. I will go concrete. Ooh. No. Yes. There we go. As well as garbage can. Okay. So now we're under a thousand dollars. Now we definitely need to wait for donations. And any other income we could possibly get which means I also have to increase the number of stars to get more people in so the zookeeper is doing his thing I don't need these gazelles I do not need camels anymore These things should be doing all right. B 
being sniffed. I don't care about being sniffed. Alright, how are we doing here? Guest happiness is alright. Animal happiness is alright. Number of animals, number of species is starting to climb. <clears throat> there we go. Common PFL1 is now pregnant, which is good. So then they'll drop an egg. As more people put money in there. See, I was right to put this in, in front. So if we go here, just the common PFI alone has gotten 25 donations, adding up to about a thousand bucks. So people like those PFALs. Now, unfortunately, since I'm trying to save money, I got to do a lot of this cleaning myself, changing these trash cans, for example. And just overall cleaning after people. Now the zookeeper is doing the rest of it. Which is fine. Alright, I'm back over a thousand dollars. People are starting to donate, buy some food. Which is good. Very good for me. Alright, guests are semi happy. I'm not going to do anything crazy like photo safaris or anything. I can put this bouncy ride though. People also like fountains. Right, I will put the bouncy ride in. Right here. Because guests need enjoyment also. So I'll put the bouncy ride in there. The fountains, though, I think the fountains are a little bit too much. So if I get another 400 bucks, I'll build a fountain somewhere. That is a tundra fountain. All right, I need five. And then I can keep with the theming on the other side. So I got the camels. Don't need caribou. Don't need peafowls. Yeah, I just need, just need to get my zoo fame up. Definitely got my water out. They are fairly happy, which is good. All right, still need a five grand. And they're going to lay an egg, which is fabulous. All right, what are people thinking about my zoo? Want to go home, bathroom, bathroom. A lot of it is bathroom. tells me I should probably build a third bathroom. I could build one over here, but meh. Those are doing all right. Hey, you're up to 1100 donations. Yeah, I know the people laid an egg. Come on, camels. You're only pulling in 200 bucks. Pull your weight. What are the caribou? How are the caribou doing? All right, see the caribou are pulling their weight. All right, and there we go. We are now up to a one star zoo, which means we'll get different types of animals. So like the reticulate, the Masani draft. So whenever I get money, the giraffe is going to be going into the savannah biome that I already have set up. And if you could tell, tell, they are in the same regions in Africa. So no worries there. 
Now this one I want to build, this grease, green sea turtle, because if I'm able to get these out into the wild, and people want to see these because they're endangered. Those are low risk. Right, I don't need any more of them. Now what objects did I get? All right, I got some uh, some gift stands, which I think I am going to build a gift stand. For hats, toys, 350 bucks. Yep, you're going in. And I got just the place for you. Right there. Perfect. Uh, I think I do have a couple more food stands that I just got. I got some a pretzel cart. I see not a pretzel cart. I could put a little pretzel cart over here. So what is that? Got candy. So I could put a tiny little pretzel cart right next to this bathroom here. And then hopefully people want to buy. Ah, uh, and I do have the sand, so I can fix this one. There we go. I can fix that. Do 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 do. do. Um, I would put a food stand everywhere, but why? <laughs> uh, excuse me. It's a nice day out, so all the windows are open in the house. And it just so happens to be a high mold day. Ooh, there we go. Caribou 2 is now pregnant. Awesome. That's what I like to see. And you cost a lot. Don't need P files. I don't even know what that is. All right now, the question is are all these stands pulling their weight? Are they making profit? You have made me $225, you're up to $155, you have made me $40. Awesome. All right, the camel's pregnant as well. That is good. Now, the bathrooms are never going to make me profit. I understand. Uh, this pretzel cart might not make me profit, though. But right, I do need to put a couple benches over here. Just so people have a place to sit while they do all that stuff. All right, how much money am I pulling in? Not a lot yet. So I definitely, definitely need to get the zoo fam up. But educational exhibits has climbed. Animal happiness has climbed. Guest happiness is getting up there. All of which is good. Don't need to worry about landscaping. I could build staff. Uh, maintenance worker picks up trash, but like I said, that's going to be me for a while. Speaking of trash, how's everything looking? Looking all right. All right you made me 80. Price is moderate, that's fine. Sounds like you made me more money. Perfect. Donations are good. Now we're playing the waiting game, unfortunately. However, I could just 
keep looking at animals I can get. Now I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save up for that one of those giraffes. Ideally I want two of them. Alright, you're making me some money. Um, you're up to 500, which is good. You're slacking over here, gazelles. Caribou is starting to pick it up, though. So I'm close to probably 2,000 in donations. Which I am okay with, of course. Camel. Right. Have you sold anything yet? You have made nine dollars profit. Yes. All right. Yeah, the, the people really like these. Really like them. And they're donating a lot of money. Which is good. And I just heard another drink being sold. Uh, come on, animals. I don't need PFO. I don't even know what that's get what it's giving me now. And unfortunately, I think once these are, once this gets born, I'm probably gonna have to expand this. All right, coming pea fowl has just hatched. Watch that should for everyone watching here just give me a boatload of money because they just all witnessed the animal being hatched. Which you know, people like money, so. You're gonna go play, or you play. Reasonable prices. This zoo is great. Well, of course it's great. Ah, see, you wanna see stingrays, though. You want to see lions. Unfortunately, the, the zoo is not famous enough quite yet for those. What is that? Uh, I think that's another desert one. So I could theoretically expand my desert as well. I ah, see, now that's what I'm talking about. Total donations. 1,500 already. We are really starting to break in that money. That's up to 700. That's only at 300 though. But I don't think the people have gotten there yet. And it's, they're only Thompson gazelles, you know. Boring. These, however, not too boring. And these get more money because they are on the vulnerable list. Which is why I want those sea turtles. But it's going to be hard because i got to build their exhibit. Now these, however... These are critical, and I could put these in with the camels, which means I would have to increase the camel size. Yeah, because they're all, so I would have to increase the size of this cage, which I think I am going to preemptively, ooh, preemptively do. So once I get two grand, I can start building some of those. Why is... I don't want square. Uh, what fixed that? Shoot. 
I don't like that. There we go. Chain link. Alright, one of the gazelles are now pregnant. That is going to be the new desert. Let me clear all of these. Alright, we'll throw desert in here. We'll throw a tiny watering hole. Then we get rid of the fence. Bam. So now the desert exhibit is bigger. And when I get 2,000, I can put the horned scimitars in there. Or horned scimitar, horned onyx. That's what I'm looking for. Which I almost have the money for. Right, that has got me too grand. Alright, so now that I have... That I could sell this water dish. Perfect. Horned Onyx, you're in. What do you eat? Same thing, perfect. Alright, so I need another two grand. I can build it. I can buy another onyx. But I can build the male version of that. And I'm at star and a half now. I have new objects. I don't know what these new objects are, but I have them. I will build a couple of recycling cans in here. Just a couple and then I'll come out and help here and clean. Because I need to help with that. Alright, people are making use of the benches. Cleaning up the trash. Excellent. Alright, the trash is cleaned up. It doesn't really have a lot in it. Alright, things are going rather smoothly now. Alright, how much money did you get? You're up to 2,000, which is great. Desert, how much are you getting? You're up to 1,000. Impressive. So I only need a few, like maybe, maybe 1,500, I think. Well, maybe 500. Let me check this one. Might be 500. Uh, under a thousand, I think. Quick math, I think I'm under a thousand. Alright, there's some animal droppings which I will help clean up here. Fill the dish. Uh, zookeeper already did your job there, buddy. And I got a little watering hole so they can actually have water. Let me see if I can see him drink. And then I do have a hill, which is kind of cool. Whee! Ooh, I can't jump. Alright, now why are you guys unhappy? Alright, let me see why you... Ooh! 
bam, I won. With the side quest basic creating stack and two. So that's what we'll do is design lies in front of you. Use these basics to take on bigger and bigger challenges from restoring dilapidated facilities to making your mark with conversation efforts. Recognition of your effort. You have been presented with a beautiful flower post. Aw. Hey, what's going on, Dino? You'll be able to use this flower post in all your future endeavors. Well, that is just excellent. All right, guys. Well, this is going to mark the end of episode three. Three. Yeah, this is the third episode of Zoo Tycoon 2. If you guys like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing to the channel. Yeah, I love this game too. This is an awesome game. <laughs> so I do plan on having more uh, more episodes of this. I try to post them every day. So yeah, um, please consider subscribing so you guys can keep up to date with all my videos and all the things I make. Check out my YouTube channel for all my playlists and stuff like that. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page, my Twitter, my Facebook, all that other fun social media stuff. And yeah, I am Yed4455 and thanks for watching. Goodbye.